So, I feel there are some incredible mysteries in this world. Like, why am I so attractive? That's not a mystery, it's a lie! The biggest mystery of them all comes from unknown games. That's right, I'm sure y'all have come across a cartridge or a game in general during your life and had no idea what it was about, but you just felt the urge to check it out anyways. For all you younglings out there, there was once a time when knowledge of games was fairly sparse and not as accessible as it is today. What is this game about? I'll pull out my BlackBerry iPod Pro and see what it says online. When I was a kiddo, you were sold on the awesomeness or the curiosity of the cover art alone. And that was at rental stores. It's, it's what led me to discovering Sunset Riders and Cutthroat Island, two classic games that I still adore to this day, except Cutthroat Island is stupid fucking hard! Regardless, that brings me to today's mystery games, titled uh, Mystery Quest, Secret Island, and Mysteryville. Get it now? They're, they're mystery games. And I mean that, the back of these cases literally shows nothing but how to install the game and the jewel cases missing the cover art. So I got nothing here. I, I, I know I could easily look up these games, but that would just spoil the fun. Mystery Quest Secret Island was created by what appears to be Mumbo Jumbo and Spin Top Games, while Mysteryville appears to be brought to us by iWin.com and Squaresoft. I mean, Nevosoft. Now, at first glance, I imagine Mysteryville will be the easier of this game titled E for Everyone, but because it's brought to us by iWin.com, and that pretty much assures me I'm going to win this game. So I'm going to start with Mumbo Jumbo and Spin Top Games, Mystery Quest Secret Island. Alright, so starting off the game, the music is average and the island is... Mystery Quest Solitaire? No, 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 no. You see, the disc said Mystery Quest Secret Island. You're telling me you misled the audience with the disc title just to sucker them into buying it. Well, bollocks to you, it totally worked on me. That's for damn sure. So, now I know we are playing Solitaire. There's no secret or mystery past that, and good god, this game is long. Look at this map. Every little notch in this game is a Solitaire game you have to play. I love some good old fashioned time wasting games when you get to sit on the pooper and spend your spare time, but to buy a physical copy of the game to play on my state of the art computer? I don't think so. Well okay, that was a little harsh. I see these icons, which could mean that there's a little bit of variation of new blood into the game other than just solitaire, and I spy mini game that rewards you with a piece of the map. Goody. And if I could be completely honest for a second, I hate I spy games. Mostly because they hide shit in the most inconsistent manner, especially if it's done incorrectly. For instance, they want me to find a glove. Well, that could be all sorts of different things. Do you realize how many different types of gloves there are in the world? End up being a catching glove. Fantastic! Or here, a knight? I'm thinking a medieval knight. The game in the other hand, chess knight. Balls. So, I'm done with this game and its repetitive nature. Let's play something that I honestly think looks much more exciting. Mysteryville! Bring it on, Mysteryville. I can see this is just going to be so damn exciting as we begin with a cafe and learning that they have no tea or coffee. What dastardly things are occurring in this town that they have no tea? Well, that's okay. We have some wine after we help clean up the cafe. Don't worry, I'm on this. Just gotta find all these bottles all over the place. Except, shit, there's one left and... Damn it! I just wasted 20 seconds because I clicked too much! Okay, so there's consequences for clicking all over the place. Mm, okay. Bringing me down to less than 7 minutes to find the last bottle. Oh my god, am I gonna be able to do it? Where the hell? Okay, there's a tip button. That just has to- no, 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 no! How the hell was that a bottle this entire time? It blended so obnoxiously well into the background that I couldn't tell for a second what it was? It looks so damn part of the painting! Wait, wait, Laura Winner? No, no, as you can tell from the opening, my name is Mr. Boss. Thank you very much. Anyways, Laura came to town to look for something interesting to write as she is a journalist for the Townside Life magazine. But it would appear that there's nothing of interest in this town, except that several cats have gone missing. The waitress even quickly goes from absolutely nothing interesting here to it all looks suspicious so quickly that I could barely process it. There's no way this could have been performed by a voice actor that would have made it sound any less convincing than what this was. Well, here we go on the adventure to save the cats of this little town. <laughs> yeah! As you can imagine, this game quickly becomes an ice spy with variations in what you need to find. Some locations have you finding the difference between two pictures, finding multiple objects as you saw earlier, 
Some where you find a list of hidden items, and others where you have to find an object that matches the shape on the list. I gotta say, this game appears fairly harmless and uninteresting until you come across this man, Mr. Lee who honestly I wouldn't be surprised if he was based off a serial killer in any of the crime dramas on TV. Two seconds in the door, you ask about the cats, he quickly responds with how attractive you are and says he has a problem. Excuse me, do I have to change the ranking of this game from E to M? Watch yourself, Mr. Lee. But no, he got his order mixed up and he needs you to collect all the fruit in his building. So staying true to the objective of finding these cats, I press on with the questioning, but Mr. Dong Lee doesn't sit well when his store is a mess. Don Lee? What? Dong Lee? <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. After I perform the task, he offers me a Black Lotus Potion. Obviously, I'm hesitant about this, as any young female reporter should be. He says it will open my eyes and allow me to see things I couldn't before. Listen, Dong Lee, if this shit is laced with opium, I'll know! I ask if it's dangerous, and without hesitating, he doesn't even acknowledge if it's dangerous, but continues with saying how great the potion is. Bro Dape 101, I swear to god, I say fuck you to drinking that shit from a stranger, then he dangles the lies of the cats over my head, of course I care about the cats. Then you will drink, brave girl, old dog has never hurt anyone. <laughs> old dog, eat for everyone my cock. I wish I could go on more about this game, but it's just the same shit in a different house with more objects to find. I eventually lost a round looking for a paper all over this room, even though this is clearly looks like a piece of paper, and it keeps saying it's not. You are wrong, video game, you are wrong. So, those are the mystery games. Not very mysterious, but yeah, just average games, I suppose. Nothing exciting or enticing about them at all. That's a bummer. Yeah, there's the downside to picking up mystery games. Most are horrible, but the adventure of possibly finding something great makes them worth the pickup. Like, comment, share, and subscribe! Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in for another episode. I have officially decided to do a drawing for the fans to give away an 8x10 poster signed by me for the 100 subscriber special as a thank you to all of you. Here's how you qualify. Comment on your favorite episode of Noctunes and let me know what you liked about that particular episode. Hashtag Noctunes100 and I'll add you into the drawing of giveaways. Check out some old episodes in the meantime and I'll see y'all next time.